Hello everyone, welcome back to Silver Tears Tarot and a great big welcome to all of you who are new. We're going to talk today about the full moon that's coming up. So the full moon comes up actually tomorrow. Um, it's going to be in Aries um, and it's a it's got a, an exciting sort of fiery energy around it, honestly. Um, but we're going to look at how it relates to the soulmate situation and just kind of look to see what it is that you need to know about this full moon time frame. So it's going to be a general reading for this collective as always um, it's not going to resonate with everyone and really it shouldn't resonate with everyone but as I like to say if it resonates with you you might want to check out some of the older readings um, other messages that have come out um, because they're all very much connected together so could be some good information in there for you um, in some of the other readings so we're going to go ahead and get started by just looking at the energy that kind of um, that energetic backdrop, the energetic and emotional backdrop across the timing of this full moon. So it's t the full moon um, is tomorrow, but it's kind of starts affecting you ahead of time. Um, so we might already kind of have seen some of this. And then there's, um, it, it will continue to affect you for some time. So we've got the moon card coming out along with the seven of pentacles in reverse. Um, there is some, definitely some mystery. And the thing is, the seven of pentacles feels like a perception card to me, meaning um, it feels like there is a perception that there is something that you're behind on or haven't invested in or something that kind of needed to be done like you. Um, it feels very much like you needed to plant some seeds so that they would have time to grow, but you didn't get around to planting the seeds, that kind of thing. And now there's some question about whether or not it's too late to do that. Um, but it's it's also got, uh, there's an undertone to this of, it doesn't matter. We're just going to try something anyway. Um, interesting. Let's learn a little bit more about that. Well, I wonder what it is that's just, you're just going to try anyway. Or it might be, that might be your person's energy coming out. So we've got the three of mirrors and the nine of mirrors. Nine of mirrors is in the reverse. Here's somebody who is, and this does feel like your person. Here's somebody who is in, um, in a situation where their time is leveraged so they don't they don't have the ability to control their time as much as they would like something is kind of taking control a little bit of that which is leading them to the place of I didn't have the time to oppor the, the opportunity to properly invest and they're not happy with where they are so there's something um we know this is true with a lot of them with regard to that third party which is that's what would be um take kind of taking the rest of their time or their energy there's a heavy element of getting tied up in that which that really ties in with yesterday's reading and really the last couple of days so we have the eight of spirals there is kind of a it's it almost feels like um r rising potential energy so like a bow being drawn back so it's not movement as such at this time but it is setting up for greater movement and also I want to say setting up for greater challenge or greater um, competition or some sort of some sort of challenge some sort of struggle but it's like it's setting up for it so this five of spirals talks about that struggle but I don't feel like it's totally here yet there is something um something coming that I feel like it's not obvious not something that you would automatically see coming oh uh, okay so there's a this is a person who is suddenly much more <laughs> I'm just gonna say the words that come to mind suddenly much more valiant than they have seemed in the past more integrity more emotion we know your person has a greater potential for emotion but I didn't really picture it coming together this quickly I still see and and I feel it here um there's a little bit of a delay to things coming together but this is like a momentary um a momentary glimpse into where they are headed I feel like and then I feel like th there are some of them that are going to reach out to you with it because they've got that chariot and it's a 
it's an aggressive movement forward kind of chariot. Not, they're not always like that. You don't always get that from the chariot. Sometimes it's fast movement. Sometimes it's definitely getting yourself going. Sometimes it's uh, motivation. There's a lot of different feelings that can come with it. But this is like aggressive, fast movement. Um, and it's it's like just coming in to give you an idea of where they're at. And, and it's not necessarily time yet. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. So you may, and I've, I've said this before, but in this moon, this is the energy of this moon. There is an expect the unexpected sort of vibe happening here. Just kind of a hold on tight with this. Um, it's, it's time to like that bow you can feel it drawing back but I feel like it's time for uh, this is the end of drawing it back after this is you're gonna see him let go um but of what I, I'm curious to understand exactly what's going to happen because there's still this resistance to really allow this transformation to occur so they've got a conflict and they haven't run into the wall yet and the conflict has to do with how they're going to essentially let go of this bow and allow something to become energy of motion um while they're still trying to work through something over here that needs to end they're disinclined to let it end because of the stability that they feel from it. And yet they are almost setting everything into motion um, towards you at, without having ended what they need to end. So that seems like, like I said, they're going to hit a wall, but they haven't hit it yet. Um, or they've got to come up with a way to make this happen. So we've got the seven of scrolls in the reverse. Um <laughs> And the four of mirrors in the upright. So there, there's an extreme level of disappointment. This is the one that popped up first. There's an extreme level of disappointment within your person about the overall situation. They thought things would be different. This is the situation with their third party. They thought things would be different even when things started to fizzle and fall apart there. They still thought it was going to play out differently than it has ended up playing out. And it is... Um, there's a disappointedness about it. And so they've come to know themselves a lot better, but it is not necessarily making them feel super comfortable. So they're seeing them some things here where they, they're being really honest. So I have to give them this. They're being really honest when they take that, when they're in the right mind to get honest about what's happening with them. Um, but it's really painful for them to do that. So it's very, it's a challenge. I'm going to turn the rest of these over. I don't think they're part of it. Um, but it's it's a huge challenge with this pain that they're feeling. This is not pain from you. It's pain from before you. Actually, it's pain from before this third party, as a matter of fact. So what they're feeling with the third party is um, above and beyond what they are feeling here with you and with this situation. Um that's coming in with this moon but there is kind of a there's this feeling of when you let that bow go there's an explosion that kind of happens and it is fairly dramatic it feels fairly traumatic not traumatic but dramatic um let's see what you need to know this is interesting it's got a a very, I mean, we said, we know it said expect the unexpected, but it's got this kind of take a step forward sort of motion to it, it with the chariot card there. The eight of spirals feels like it's again, drawing that, drawing that bow back. We've got the three of swords. Okay. And the high priestess. I feel like we need to grab one more. Three of Swords is about heartbreak. High Priestess is about secrets and the connection to the divine. Um, or a lack of secrets in it. I mean, not lack of secrets. Lack of connection to the divine and secrets starting to come out. Um, there is a tendency to have an emotional um, limitation that makes it so that... So, we've seen your person kind of expanding a little bit as they have allowed love to come to them, as they've allowed emotion to come to them. We've seen their capacity increasing. Um, then they they retract again. It's a back and forth kind of thing, but each time they get bigger, they have more capacity. When they retract, we see this. We see all of a sudden their capacity for emotion goes away and they um, 
they may start to get very concerned about how things look. So this is about appearances. This is kind of, it is very much the opposite of, um, where is it? There's energy in here that it is very much the opposite. It's this one, the King of Mirrors. It's literally the opposite if you look at it in the cards. So King of Mirrors is water energy and King of Cups is also water energy. And this one's in reverse. So it's literally the reverse of it. Um, but what's that different about it? What is opposite about it is this is all the integrity and over here is not. They both have oodles of charisma though. Um, but what you see is, so this is what triggered you in the first place is this tendency for them to retract. Um, there's something here that does trigger them and trigger you in this space as well, but I'm not sure that retracting is where you go with it. I think that you, it hits you a little differently because you're in a different place in your healing path. Um, but it is, it's something that when you see it, and we've seen this showing up for readings, I think as recently as yesterday for you, in the last couple of days, um, we saw that there was going to be pain that shows up for you, but it's like more of a memory of the pain and a recognition of where the pain was rather than having to go through it again. Well, your person sees this recognition of pain and instead of grabbing whatever it is by the tail and taking that as a place to start learning, they have a reaction to it. And part of that reaction is, you know what, I'm really not ready for this right now. And so to kind of close things off and say, I'm not prepared to have um, this type of interaction, this type of communication. So we have the five of mirrors in the reverse and the world in reverse. The world in reverse, first off, is telling us there's definitely something that hasn't come to an end here. Um, but with the five of mirrors in the reverse, here's a sense of I'm not entirely sure if what I'm feeling is real, which is unusual for the five of mirrors in reverse. It's like the five of cups in reverse. Oftentimes it has to do with, I can take the negative along with the positive and start to make something a little bit more balanced. But here it's not being sure what it is exactly that they're looking at. There's still a fair amount of that upright feeling of the, um, feels like shame. Once again, there, it's shame in how they've behaved or what they've allowed you to see. And when they think back to it, it's like they, um, I get a little bit of what I see with this emotional limitation with this King of Cups too. Um, it's just this sense of, I can't go there right now. I can't do it. So it's like they can't finish it. They're aware that something's not done. They're aware that they haven't invested with the Seven of Stones in the reverse. That's that earth energy. Just like the Seven of Pentacles over here, there's a definite awareness of not having invested. There's a shame that goes along with that. And there's a feeling that things are unfinished and incomplete. A lot of pain that goes along with it too. And this is like this whole thing here has to do with your person responding in a triggered way. However, we also see them potentially coming in and having a conversation with you that is fairly intense and deep. Um, or has the capacity to be fairly intense and deep. So I know a couple of you have already gotten with me and said this has happened and then they disappeared again. So I think that's matching this energy pretty well because it's got the I must run away feeling to it. But it also has the I must come your direction. It's not something that like they're um, accustomed to feeling those two things at the same time at this point. But I don't know that they ever quite get used to it. We have the Six of Stones in the reverse. They're still not prepared to give you equal energetic give and take. So that's important to know. And then we've got the Knight of Stones that says they are slowly moving through this process. They're slowly moving through a process that's hopefully going to be able to turn this Six of Stones into the upright where they would be able to be more equal in the distribution of energy. So at this point, they're not able to do that. And that's kind of the problem that we're having. One of the reasons the two of you aren't haven't haven't had the type the type of communication, haven't had the type of relationship that you have wanted to have, has a lot to do with this fact that things are not balanced. There is a strong desire to make things right, but again, it's incredibly slow. The process is slow because it involves both of you doing some learning both of you uncovering some mysteries, which is our honorable mention with the moon in reverse over here, um, because it's not happening yet. There's a desire to make things right. There's a need to get things into balance, but there's not really a path to it just yet, which is part of why you're seeing some of the frustration that you're seeing and 
some of these readings and we're getting a lot of the frustration um frustration energy and just kind of i'm not exactly sure how to move on from here i've got some things that don't seem like they're going to resolve or they're not resolving very quickly here we have the high priestess in the upright um so we've had the high priestess in the reverse up here and then the upright down here um with over here it's a lot more about not necessarily having that optimal connection with their higher self, with their uh, divine self, with their higher power, with the intellect, or not the intellect, but the intuition. Here, though, it's a lot more about certain secrets remaining secrets. There's a strong desire within them, even if you do see them reach out to maintain some level of secrecy about something so there are things that even if they come in and want to have this deep conversation with you there are certain things that they are very clearly not wanting to have a conversation about or you'll find them staying away from it if you bring it up they will ghost out it's it's that sort of thing there's going to be a type of topic maybe even a range of topics i just get sometimes there's only going to be a couple of topics they'll talk about and they'll stonewall you on the others um that is a tendency that you sometimes find in folks with some narcissistic tendencies. Again, doesn't mean that that's a narcissist. It just means that they may have some tendencies. Might be a narcissist, but I wouldn't go to, as far as to diagnose. Just to say that that's kind of the vibe that we get there. Um, and yet they're going to be, they're going to be um, being pushed to move on to some next step with this energy. And this is definitely the full moon energy. It's feeling like that full moon energy they're going to be pushed to move forward we've seen that coming out in some of the like the um I did the thank you reading was that just yesterday I think the thank you reading <laughs> was just yesterday and we had um the mermaids where we had um both the night of like this the night of fire so this is spirals and that one was fire or wands um and then also the knight of swords was just pushing them forward to do something which it was like they regret it immediately because they're not prepared to do it and yet they can't not move forward that is very much like what we're seeing over here there's this this almost confidence for some a wall they haven't hit yet and a tendency to not want to move toward it because they're wanting to retract their emotion um, but I don't know that they have a choice. I feel like they're going to get there. I think they're, they're coming for it. Um, we've got Empress energy here in the reverse. It has to do with not being ready yet. And then we've got the seven of mirrors, which has to do with really just that confusion, not being sure about the path forward or what it should look like. Um, a lot of confusion in here, especially because they're resisting something with everything they've got while at the same time really kind of wanting it to happen. So it is, I mean, they're, they're dreaming about it and fantasizing about it. And then, you know, in the rest of their life saying, I can't possibly, you know, reach out. I can't possibly have this communication, even though I feel like I have to, you know, we've had communications with actual divine masculines who have said, yes, I'm watching this channel um, and it's just, it's impossible to know. I'm as confused as you are. That's one of the famous lines from our, as I like to call him, our resident divine masculine. Um, here, let's see. We did have this. We did have this. I don't want to pick up any that we were actually using. I mean, I've already read them, but ideally they don't go back into the deck. I think I got them all here. But yes, one of our, our the guy that I call our resident divine masculine, um, who made this wonderful statement that others late, later heard their own person say in these deep, deep kind of conversations, you know, and it was, I'm as confused as you are. And I remember thinking that is... That is a deep truth right there. That is a significant and deep truth. Um, so with the strength card here, though, this has them recognizing the level of their confusion and just being a little bit concerned about how to move forward. With the page of stones, this is learning a lesson, but learning it a little bit too late. So there's an element of learning it a little bit too late. I'd be curious to know what they're learning right now. Maybe that's part of what we take into the extended like what is your person supposed to be getting out of this right now we have some idea 
from recent readings of, you know, what they're going through. And, and I can see that reflected in here with all the back and forth and the confusion and the with the third party, the difficulty that's there and feeling like they haven't, um, feeling like they haven't invested, but also feeling like maybe sometimes they're incapable of doing that because they do go back and forth between, all right, this ability to feel is expanding um, and then they get triggered. Something causes them to flood. It's a little too much and they go back into themselves and we see this kind of dynamic. However, with this moon energy, this dynamic is not necessarily simple for them because um, there. this is a time to manifest. It is a time to take that step forward. And so that is part of why you can expect the unexpected. Um, Let's get some, so we got messages about kind of what, what is happening with this full moon energy as it relates to your soulmate. Let's figure out what you should be doing about it, where your focus ought to be, um, because you may be receiving some communication from this person. There may be, um, depending on what they're learning, which we'll get into that and maybe more what their actions are likely to be um, when we get into the extended, but it just seems like this is not going to be entirely wrapped around them, but there is um, a little bit that is associated with them. So we've got the Devil card and the Temperance card, both of which have come out in the reverse. And now the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so beware of those truths that are trying to show themselves to you, but that you're looking to, um, that you're feeling like filled up on these truths. This is you basically mirroring this person where they're saying, that's enough. I'm flooded. I can't take any more right now. This is the same sort of thing happening in you. It may not look exactly the same, but that's basically what it is. Um, you have done some pretty significant solving, problem solving and getting out from something that controls you here recently, but it's thrown you into a little bit of um, an unbalanced place. So that's where this truth is going to start to orient you. That Your person could take a lesson or two from you at this point. Um, you've got the Phoenix card here, for, and it's really a card of judgment. This is knowing that you've done the right thing, knowing that even though this is challenging, that you're moving in the right direction, and that you'll be able to manifest. So during this moon energy, you're going to feel it. It's like when you go into a workout and everything feels especially great that day, it's going to be that kind of manifestation. And look what you are manifesting. This is a partnership. So whether it's your person coming in or you're manifesting someone else to come in, you're putting out that energy that says this is a good time. Um, for some of you, I think it's probably just barely a good time because you need to be in that hermit space where you're doing some more of the thinking. But not everybody's in the same place on the timeline. There are definitely going to be some people who are more prepared to use what they've learned and you know some of you are taking the when we found you at the crossroads in other readings some of you are going to take the shorter path where you say I don't want to go through this cycle again and then there are going to be others of you who take the the path where you do go through the cycle again and you may still end up in the same place but you're manifesting something you're manifesting someone um, with the six of mirrors here, it does seem like there's something new about this. So if it's not the, if it's not the person, um, if it is the person that you have been dealing with in the past, this is a pretty new way that they feel, but based on what we saw over here, that's where we, you got to expect the unexpected out of them anyway, because if nothing, they're at least having a moment of clarity that gives you an idea of who they're turning into, which may be. Um, even for those of you who feel like you're prepared to walk away, it could be pretty irresistible. So just a heads up on that. If you do happen to run across this person, you might be um, tossed back into a place where you say, wow, I'm really, I'm really feeling the attraction. I really wish this didn't have to take so long. Um, but then, you know, if you see them start to kind of disappear again, you, you already know they're not completely healed. They have some work to do. You will have a decision to make about it, though. I get that sense. There's a decision that you're going to have to make about it. I'm curious to understand what that decision is, but I, my gut says that it's not going to be the same decision for everyone. You'll be in a better position to make it, though, because with the Eight of Scrolls here in the reverse, this is a feeling of not overthinking, not doing things for um, just to get it done, just to get it, you know, like you're in a hurry and you just don't want to have to worry about it anymore. 
this is not bad energy. This is much more productive, thoughtful, willing to think things through and work through things. It's very um, methodical sort of energy. And we've seen that hermit, that methodical Virgo hermit energy come through here every once in a while um, here recently. This kind of reflects it a little bit, even though it's the Eight of Scrolls in reverse and mostly it's about not overthinking. It's more than that. Let's see. So we have the Ace of Scrolls again in the reverse. That's the equivalent of the Ace of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> have to be careful with this one because this is a truth that is sitting in front of you, but for some reason you're either not registering it or you can't register it. Um, you have the Four of Stones here that says you're not registering or can't register this truth because there's something that you need to work on getting past. Something that you probably don't quite see at this point. Um, ten of Mirrors, Nine of Spirals. So you have the Ten of Mirrors in the upright, Nine of Spirals in the reverse, and I'll try and straighten the rest of these guys up. Um, you're no longer, you are moving on. You are improving in some way. There's something here where... You have healed on some, you've healed in some way and you're now going to be tested against that. You're going to be, have, you're going to get the opportunity to use what you've learned and it feels like you're going to do a great job with it. That is basically the same message coming here with the Ten of Mirrors. I can't help but think that it's related to this Two of Mirrors over here and that it's what's your, what you're manifesting. But it certainly looks very positive. Just try to um, also see the truth because, or that eight of swords, that eight of scrolls, that's that inconvenient truth that's trying to hide itself from you or that you might be just kind of looking past it right now. It's going to hit you in the head and you're going to be given an opportunity that you want. Like that, that's, I can't put it any clearer than that. I think when we get into the extended, we need to look into that. What is... Um, what is heading your direction, just kind of see what that looks like, what is heading your direction, as well as what are these lessons that your person is learning and what are they likely to do? So that's what we'll look at when we get into the extended. Um, otherwise, it looks like we've got pretty intense moon energy that we're having um, come about now. So it's that expect the unexpected, hang on, um, there might be some kind of turbulence ahead, but not necessarily in a bad way. This is a time to manifest. It is a time to, to move ahead. So um, that's pretty fantastic. If you want to learn a little bit more about what's happening with your person, how they are likely to move uh, forward, what they're learning right now, and what you're manifesting, then hop along with me into the extended. The link is down below in the description for this one. Otherwise, I will see you again tomorrow.